release dates, new movies, delays. Let's talk about movie news. Hi guys, I am Mr. Scotty Pie and I am back for another video. And today it is Friday, so that means we have movie news. Quite a bit of news came out this week, so before I jump into all that, please do go down and hit the like button. You might as well do it now before you forget. And while you're down there, hit that subscribe button uh, to see more great content like this. Shall I wait while you do that? Don't mean to miss anything. Done? Yeah? Brilliant. Let's carry on with movie news. Okay, let's start off with some MCU news. So, uh, Chris Hemsworth has announced, uh, I'm not sure how official this is, but he is an actor has announced that after Thor, um, God and Thunder, Love and Thunder, Love and Thunder, <laughs> Thor 4, Thor 4, God and Thunder, um, will not be his last uh, outing as Thor. I'm not sure if this means he's going back for an Avengers movie, uh, a cameo in someone else's film, or another Thor film. I don't know, but either way, I am very happy to hear this news. I think the Thor character is absolutely fantastic, so more to see him, the better. And especially after Ragnarok Rare, uh, the character really hit his shrine and found his own unique personality, which I think he was lacking in the first two Thor films. So, uh, that's good news and rejoice for MCU fans. One of the three main um, characters, I'd say, out of Thor, Captain America and Iron Man, is staying in the franchise just that little bit longer than we expected. When will we see that film? Well, who knows? Because that leads us on to the other news of more delays. Um, Black Widow is rumoured to be hitting another delay. Obviously this film was initially meant to come out in May. That got changed to, uh, I think it was October, November time. And they're in discussions of delaying this film again. Because I don't know if you knew initially, um, Black Widow was supposed to come out in May. And we're supposed to have Eternals coming out in November. So we've... Black Widow meant to come out in November, then Eternals are going to come out in February, March time. What is this going to do with Eternals and with the next couple of uh, films that are already scheduled to release? Everything's getting pushed back. What does this mean for basically everything in the MCU? Because obviously MCU planned their next five years in advance. This is going to change everything. Uh, me, as a massive MCU fan, I don't want to see... Uh, delays in MCU films, I want to see them sooner rather than later. Uh, so I will be devastated if M um, Black Widow uh, gets delayed. Obviously, they've recently released a second trailer. So obviously, they're trying to build the hype back up for the uh, Black Widow movie. And if that happens again, they're going to have to try and rebuild and redo their whole marketing campaign again. But talking with delays, it has been confirmed that Wonder Woman is being delayed again. Obviously this was supposed to be a summer release. This got changed to an October, November release. Nisa has been given an official release date now of December the 25th. Yes, this is gonna come out on Christmas day. Obviously it's gonna try and break into the holiday, uh, the Christmas holiday market. Um, personally, I'm gutted by that um, news. If you watch any of these videos on the channel, you'd know I'm a huge, 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 fan of the Wonder Woman, um, the first Wonder Woman film. It's my favourite DC EU film. Uh, so that's obviously the film starting from Man of Steel onwards. Um, it's my ultimate favourite one. I think it can do no wrong. Um, and I'm absolutely pumped and excited to see the second um, Wonder Woman film, Wonder Woman 1984. So the fact that I've got to wait even longer is heartbreaking for me uh, on a personal basis. Um, obviously Christmas time, when I don't know when I'm going to, have to actually get to the cinema. Um, I don't know what it's like in America, but in England, most cinemas are usually closed on Christmas Day. Um, and I usually, over the Christmas period, don't usually go... To, I don't think I've ever been to the cinema in the Christmas period, uh, Christmas Day, around that time. It's more of a time to 
spend with family where everyone family is off and enjoying each other's company and things like that so um i personally it put i don't know what i'm going to do because i said i don't i don't think i've ever been to the cinema uh, in this time to me it's i don't usually go to cinemas again until the new year um but obviously it's a film i really want to see so this is a bit of a what do I do in this situation moment for me personally? What does that mean for you? Does it deter you? Does it, is it better for you? Do you care? Any any conversation you want, please pop it in the comments below. New films we have though, it's been reported due to the huge success of the first Meg film, we'll be getting the Meg 2. Obviously, if you've not seen this film, it's a Jason Statham film about a giant shark. If you haven't seen this film, I'd highly recommend seeing this film. It's very, very enjoyable. It's one of those, um, it could be an 80s film. It's very much in the vein of a good, fun, cheesy 80s action film. It knows what it is. It's having some fun and it's a great laugh. Um, I'm very, very happy to hear the second one. Uh, I really think the first one is such a good, fun, relaxed and enjoyable film that I really hope the second one lives up to that and is just as fun. Uh, if I had to uh, kind of compare it to something, normally a lot of people maybe say Jaws because it's a shark, but I would dismiss that. I'd go more Fast and Furious. No cars involved, but I mean the style of it's stupid, it's actiony, it's just a bit of good fun. You can switch your brain off, sit back and just enjoy the ride. And that's what the Meg is. And the, hopefully the second one follows in that pattern. And we have another great film. And in TV news, we have had announcement that there's going to be a new BBC drama. I'm not sure what we like in America, what station will pick it up. But this is going to be a three-part prison drama. Uh, all I know at the moment is that it's going to be starring Sean Bean and Stephen Graham. Sean Bean, obviously famous for... Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings, and a whole host of other roles where he is obviously such a fantastic and wonderful actor. Stephen Graham, um, his big notable roles, obviously you have This Is England, um, you have uh, Gangs of New York, you have The Irishman. He is an absolutely outstanding actor, I think one of the most underrated actors in Britain. An absolutely fantastic actor. So the two of those together, I can't see how this can be a failure. But we've not got much, too much yet. It's just been announced what the cast is and the general premise is going to be a prison drama. Apparently they'll be playing polar opposite kind of characters in this prison. So that is something I personally am very much looking forward to. Other new movie news. We have been um, announced that due to the popularity of the Sonic the Hedgehog movie, there was going to be a new live action Super Mario movie, which will be released in 2022. Obviously there was an initial one in the 80s, which is a bit of a cult classic now. Um, but obviously this is one they're gonna try and uh, market to the major mainstream market. Hopefully they do a really good job of this, because obviously Mario being such a famous and well-loved character. Um, so obviously that's something you can look forward to in 2022. Nothing else has been released for it who's doing any roles or any kind of storyline. But I'm sure it'll be some good fun and something to look forward to and enjoy. So we have also been getting a release date uh, for a new series of Star Trek Discovery. This will be the third series. This Star Trek Discovery will be released on the 15th of October this year. Uh, there's not many plot points being announced. Uh, there's been one picture announced which shows obviously the cast returning of uh, Saru and Michael Burnham and um, the general other bridge crew uh, from the first two seasons. Uh, massive fan of the Star Trek series, uh, so I'm very, very excited about um, this being released so soon. Uh, in other new movie news, we found that there's a, going to be a new biopic being announced. This will be the same story of Madonna. Obviously a famous uh, career she's had. Uh, one of the biggest artists in the world. And it's just been announced that looks like the director of this Madonna biopic will be Madonna. This is something I'm not too pleased about. Um, the reason for that is it's going to be very 
washed over, I'd assume. She's not going to want to air her own dirty laundry out on the screen. So she can very much tell the story that she wants to tell, not the truth. Uh, so that puts me off this quite a bit. I'm a big fan of biopics, special musical biopics. Um, I've, I've always very much enjoyed them. Uh, and this is one I definitely will be seeing, but I'll be taking the story of a pinch of salt with the news that Madonna's going to direct her own film about around her own life. That makes no sense to me. I think the studio should step in there and say, no, we can, you can read the script and okay beforehand. That's as far as you can get. Um, but we'll see what happens with that. Other news. we uh, News I forgot in the MCU bit. The villain has been announced for the new Ant-Man 3 film. This Kang the Conqueror is going to be played by uh, Jonathan Majors, who you'll know from um, HBO's Lovecraft Country. Personally, I don't know much about Kang the Conqueror, but uh, I love the Ant-Man films. I'm a huge MCU fan, so I'm all in for this. And we've got one other delay um, that's also been announced, and this is for The Candyman. It looks like this film is now going to be pushed back from an October release. They were initially aiming for a Halloween uh, release uh, after uh, the film Halloween decided to push back a year. Uh, Candyman was going to take over its position and take the Halloween market. But due to the climate, it looks like that might also be pushed back to next year. Uh, the Candyman film is one I was actually very much looking forward to. I'm not a major horror fan, but I love the first Candyman film, so... I was looking forward to see what they did with this remake. But I guess we have to wait a bit longer for that. So, that is all the movie news for this week. Did I miss something out? Uh, what do you think about all these delays? What films are you looking forward to? Let me know in the comments below. I do respond to all comments. Let's do start a conversation down there. And if you did enjoy this video, please do consider that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, I also do trailer reactions, movie reviews, and like this general movie talk. Please do consider that subscribe button. It would mean the absolute world to me. I am Mr. Scottie Pie, and I hope you have a good day. And I am out of here. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you'd like to drop a like, a subscribe, share, hit the bell notification, that would be amazing. And you will see on this side of my head, you will see another video which YouTube has recommended just for you. And on this side of my head, you will see a logo to subscribe to the channel. If you want to hit that, I will love you forever. Goodbye.